Is it just a kind of get through it and hope it gets through? You get through it quicker than later, obviously. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Uh, you know, it it is what it is. Obviously, I hadn't played a game in a while, and it, it's still just not enough. Um, especially down the stretch there, kind of left Murrow to dry. And, uh, you know, uh, we had a good day of work at practice today. And, um, you know, we got to get get our feet under us. We, we started to play some good hockey in December, and um, we had a good feeling in the room. And uh, we can't let, uh, you know, that one discourage us. And we just got to find that feeling again. Just sort of sounds like you're just not prepared to make any excuses. Is that correct? No, I mean, the uh, vast majority of teams in the league are, are dealing with it right now or, or dealing with the, um, you know, the noise of it at the very least. And so, um, you know, you just got to, uh, you, you just kind of got to control what you can control. And as soon as you just, you know, you, you start thinking a little too much, it, it works against us. And, you know, um, you know so I think uh, yesterday is, is a learning lesson for us is just, um, you know, next man up, just, just control what you can control. The lone hand in the queue is uh, Bruce Gary on your post media. Hey, Connor, do you, do you just feel like last night you guys were out of sync? Yeah, I think I think we were definitely out of sync. Um, you know, a lot of penalties in the first. Uh, you know, they, they were able to build a lot of momentum on that just early going in the game. Um, and we really never really found our groove. We weren't able to string too many good shifts together. and. Um, which has um, been uncharacteristic of our team, the way we were playing all through December. And so, um, you know, we're going to just look at that as a, you know, just one hiccup and, and back to, to doing what we know we can do. Um, you know, obviously, you know, so much going on. So it's just uh, important to stay focused. Well, it's, it's hard not to get frustrated with the uncertainty of the, of the schedule and, and it doesn't appear to me that there's any kind of rhyme or reason to how games are postponed right now. And is, is that way on you guys at all? Um, I don't know about way on us. Uh, you know, I think, um, you know, obviously just the, the randomness of it all uh, that's going on right now is, um, you know, you, you don't, you know, it's obviously nice sometimes to settle into a schedule and to, and to be able to mentally prepare, but um, that's, you know, it can't be an excuse. Uh, that's the bottom line. It can't be an excuse. So, you know, you, you got to be ready to play um, no matter when, when, when the next game is, when, you know, what's getting postponed and whatnot. And so just got to stay, stay focused. I mean, that's the, uh, you know, that's what it, it's called being a pro. Um, and you just got to stay ready. We'll circle back to Gordon Wilson for the final one. Uh, Connor, you touched on Matt Murray's game last night, and um, I, I'm just wondering what it's like, to, what the feeling is like in the locker room when you, you see a guy go through what he's gone through here and play the way he did and then just have everything kind of unravel in the third. Um, yeah, I feel for him. Uh, but, you know, he, he, he's a... Uh, you know, he's a proven goaltender in this league. He's been very good for a long time. He's been um, he's been through some stressful situations with Cup Finals, and and uh, you know I'm sure he, he knows how to deal with these type of things. And I, but you know us giving up breakaways in the last 10 minutes is just uh, pretty unacceptable. And you know with it, uh, you know it's got to take care of him a little better. And um, like I said, you know there's a lot of things that didn't go our way. And, and a lot of things that we got to learn from and, um, you know, push forward.